throw ups everywhere in the jail. It was sick. I mean, it was it was all right. Well, did everyone else think that was in, in inside? Did they? Did they? Did they, were they you know, people, were they into it? No, but people can't. Like people say to me, why do you, why do you do that fucking childish thing? And I'm like, you you don't understand what it's like to get that. Oh, it's buzz. It's a buzz, and it lasts for days. Yeah. You don't have to chase it because you're living it. Yeah. Like, it's in just, you. Yeah, it's it's part of life, man. It's part of, like, every time I'm on the phone, I'm fucking doodling or... Do you know what I mean? It's, it's everywhere, like... It's... Do, do you think... Do you think... All right, so now here comes a spicy question. All right? <laughs> okay, we ready for Spice Patrol? Hold on to your blinkers. Streetculturetv.com <laughs> <laughs> Instagram UK Frontline. Beatbox created. Killer Keller. And we need to talk about world music and street culture. Killer Keller Podcast. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen. Killer Keller Podcast. Once again, back in a flat. How do you like us now? Uh, central London or Central as you need to be. Choose to be. Acquire to be. Our sponsors, the mighty GK Nifty Heads, have a massive 100,000 play to earn NFTs to give away to the streets. Just hit the link in the description or go to gknifteyheads.com and get ready for Hoddle Wars Summer 2024. We are in the building with a gentleman from 96, long time from Platform 4, London Bridge, no less to the stars. We're talking about BMS, we're talking about 439. Listen, salute the general. Fats in the building. How Hello, are we, my brother? And BMS, make some noise, please, everybody. Hi. How are you, my brother? I'm cool, man. What's I'm happening? Cool, what are you doing up north? Mm. What's going on? How have you been? What's been happening? Well, just... I just can't really keep myself out of trouble, you know? Like, <laughs> Famous last words on this yeah, podcast. Yeah, just fucking trying to stay out of trouble, but it's hard. Brother, look, I'm just going to have to dial back to a certain era of my career and my life and seeing you up on the lines from south on. You know, we're talking like Peckham Ways, we're talking Streatham, we're talking these these informative years for me and a lot of people out there will resonate. Uh, it will resonate that you're even on the, on the podcast right now. Some will be surprised that you're on the podcast, you know. Yeah, you, definitely. You, you've got history here. A little bit. Haven't a little, you? Li- yeah, a little bit, yeah. I've got, um, well... It's, it's a lifestyle to me, do you know what I mean? It's not um, like you see skateboarders and you can tell writers. Can you? 100%. Yeah? What's the first giveaway for you for a writer? In 2024, what's the first giveaway? Hanging around train stations looking for runners. <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> Standing near a doorway too long with the geezer looking out. You'd paint on the clothes. All bets are off now, Bag, aren't they? Bags all... rattling. But we were talking about this across the road, weren't it? All bets are off so far as what's happening in 2024. 100%. Graph's gone off the scale. Yeah. It's nuts now. Yeah. I'm seeing street dubs everywhere. Mm. Like, everywhere you're going, there's mm. fucking graph. And it's, some are shit, mm. some are good. But to me, it's just vandalism. And that's where it's at. It's busy. Busy. Busy, busy. Weren't like this back in the day. Do you know what I mean? And now Instagram's about. It's smartphones and mm. all crews are linking up. It's, it's, it's on, it's on top. Benching. Benching expecting to see something is one thing. <clears throat> Benching to see like six, seven, more. Mm-hmm. Sitting in a train station all day and the cunt's buffed it the night before, you don't even get to see it. No. Do you know what I mean? Like having to sit in a train station for 12 hours, just train off the train off the train and nothing's on it. And you're Nothing's like, what the it. fuck? Yeah. They buffed it. You know what I mean? It's now... There's so much of it going on. Yeah. And you can take a flick of it in the yard with a smartphone with a fucking mad camera on it. Yeah. It looks like it's the fucking, the real deal. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's, you, graph's easier now. Yeah. I yeah. think, I think that's the problem. What you saying about they buffed it, but then you catch your fucking underside underneath. Yeah, you that's... Fucking tagging. You know, you know it was your yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Gra- graph now is... Big up Sikis, of course. Big up Enzo inside the place. BMS in the building. Graph is easy now to, mm. to what it used to be. But I mean, you have to go and rack your paint. Mm. 
You're in the yard with fucking plastic coats and NY caps and <laughs> you've got a flash camera in your bag and mm. you've got to be in at nine o'clock because mm. you ain't been to school all day. And now you're in a yard. You've got your fucking school uniforms doing. Mm. Now it's just like kids don't even fucking go to school. They're just like, no. I mean, it's just it's madness out there. They don't go to school and they don't do anything contributive to much, right? Well, they, I remember well, none of the Yeah, that's crazy. Oh. You said... Uh, school uniform. You spoke of a tie. Yeah. Now let's get let's get into that mindset because when you was younger, there was, of course, there was a whole heap of different uh, pressures. But we're going back to what ninety four, ninety five. We're talking well, of first a tag was fudge. <laughs> fudge. So what day, what year was that? <laughs> ninety four, ninety three. Ninety three. Mm. What were you doing in ninety three? Huh? That's crazy. The idea that you were just compelled to want to like paint. It was that. It was more. You got the like. It was known fucking iron. Yeah. Cos. Yeah. And it's like. You we, said cot as well earlier. Yeah. Now there's a there's cot, a name that cot one, man. Yeah. And onyx as well. Those onic. kind of. <coughs> but it was like me and um, Alki from uh, Lewis from IPN Alki mm. and. Uh, we used to get these 50 piece spray cans and they were like, they were terrible. But we used to just look at all the graph everywhere and then just go and bomb up the estates. <laughs> and it was like, it was, it was sick. I remember when I moved to my nan's, like I was pens and I absolutely hammered the estate. And uh, my next door neighbor was like the community woman for the estate. And she kept going to me, do you know who this fats is? Do you know who this fats is? <laughs> And for years she never knew. And uh, once my, my nan and that were decorating, and fucking, we tagged up the whole of my nan's corridor because there was all like, she was wallpapering it. So we done all the, once we scraped it all down, we done all tags, all of us. And the woman's come in my house and she's gone, you little bastard. And I went, it's not me, I do it with the Z. And she went, I fucking knew it was you. And I was like, no, that was, yeah, man, it was. It was fun times back then. When Golden you had, eras. You had no responsibilities. So how old have you been back then? I'd say year seven, year mm. eight in school. I'd say 12, 13. Mm. What was the bug? What, bu what, what got you? Oh, it, it, the thieving. Mm. The raising. The raising. Oh, the the raising was the, the high point of it because obviously you go racking and then you bump into people and then, then and then mobile phones must have come out. Well, you remember them big fucking Motorola things? Yeah, like yeah. That? Do you know what I mean? Um, With the flip. We used to have the uh, the codes for the phones in, in, in the train stations. You know them grey boxes? Yeah. <laughs> so I think it was like 0441 or something and then the banana phone would start ringing and it's fucking Enzo. He's like, where are you? All right, I'm at your platform Free four. Free mobile phone, you had right. that. That was platform happening. Four. Platform four, crusty yeah. corner. We're going to raise fucking 7-Eleven. And then the rest was just madness. It a lot of people will see this podcast quite significant in the sense that you were one of the movers and shakers of that time. Mm. You see, it's very curious that you were, you were so... Because you're... Prolific being one thing in graph, there's a difference when you just love fucking stealing mm. and you love trouble. It's a buzz, man. Yeah, tell me about that. What, trouble? Yeah. Well, I, I fucking... Trouble Trouble finds me, but I, I do, like, slightly like it. Do you know what I mean? It's What bit do you like about it? All sorts of it. Football violence, fucking raising, fighting. Well, not not even so much now, because I'm trying to change my life a bit, but... Three and a half years sober as well, N maximum respect. We got all that. But, but anything, anything that's fucking adrenaline. Like I'm a little adrenaline junkie. Mm. Do you know what I mean? I climbed a mountain last year. What? I climbed Mount Snowden, bro. Everyone was saying, you're never doing that fact. Me, you I climbed to, Mount I Snowden? I got to the top of Mount that's fucking Snowden. That's fucking cold. Yeah. Max, literally, maximum Listen, respect. Listen, I've got to the top of it, but I've got my vape out. I've got to the top really? of Mount Snowden, bro. That's some of the freshest day you'll ever... <laughs> and my pal said to me, come, you're going to get the train back. I said, nope, I'm walking to the bottom. And I walked all the way to the bottom. That's amazing. That is a test. So it's adrenaline? Adrenaline. Just anything, man. It's... Like when, on Sir Kip's podcast, he said about, like, near misses. Mm. Them near misses, like, I don't feel... I don't feel like I'm in danger when I'm in that environment. 
Like, I don't know how many times I've been close to the third rail, but I just walk near it like it's nothing. I lay like down next day. to it. Really? Do you know what I mean? It's, I don't know. It's, I think I'm more used to it. But, yeah, every time I'm out there on them, in them tracks, or you're risking your life, man. Yeah. But the, new, the newer phase of, of youth culture is, like, things like the free jumping. Mm. The adrenaline, real life. Yeah, no, life. that's madness. I'm too big for that. I'd but don't you think that? Don't you think that rolls in tandem with which maybe wait, some of you lot have gone wait, through in, in graph? Listen, I'd, I'd, I'd love to. <laughs> listen, if, if, listen. If I could, if I could free jump, yeah. Uh, big offense. If I could free jump, yeah, <laughs> it'd be a different sort of free jumping, bruv. The fucking stuff would all fall down, bro. <laughs> no, nah, but blessings, honestly. Like we, we're talking on on a more psychological level. So if you, for instance, if you if you pattern up, like this day and age, and I'm not talking about 24 feet fucking whatever sky rises that people do somersaults of, but there is a level of adrenaline that comes in when you're, when you're hanging off a, off a bridge with trains going underneath it, right? Yeah, 100%. Is that part of the psyche? Yeah, but it's, it's still that, I don't know. It's... Do you know what, if I probably knew how close I was to death, I probably wouldn't do it. Would you? But I think I'm well... I'm well uh, fucking educated around that sort of stuff. It's like my next home up. I love it on there. It's, it's mm. like another world when you're on track. So, mm. you, you know what I mean? You're, you, it's another world. You've is it life you... experience? Is it yeah. because you've been doing it since you was yeah, little? I, I know my way around. You know what I mean? It's, you, you it's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, you as long as you know people. certain things and you've got a little bit of savvy around you, you, you should be all right. Yeah. It's savvy, you know I mean? isn't it? Of course it is. Common sense. It's respect the space and the space respect respect you. 100%. It's mother nature, isn't it? It is. In a sense. Yeah, yeah, it is. Well, yeah, it's psychological. It's, it's out there. Yeah. And it's, yeah. That's interesting you say that. And we never actually captured that on a podcast. Mm. Um, talk to me about South. South of the era. The South of late 90s into early noughties era. Talk to me about that. Well, it was fucking like... It was, I was I was from Lewisham originally, but then my nan used to live in uh, Kennerton. And uh, I used to mix up the places, so I'd know all the writers from Lewisham mm. and, like, Ornputton and all them ways. And then I'd know all the writers from Kennerton. Well, not all the writers, but mainly PC mm. back in the day, which is perfect crime. I'll type PC. And that was Pine, Bash, yeah. Oath. And uh, free oath, yeah. by the way, you know, I love yeah. you, my bro. Free oath, but um, yeah, so now I'm, I'm, I'm hanging around different crews. So I'd go these lot one day, this lot the next day, but then started selling drugs, having kids, and Graf just become like a I weren't out there, we were just bombing Vauxhall, and we were still going raising pantos and that because mm. that was when it, it went off with the pantos, like, mm. and uh. I met a couple of the big, the big boys in the game, and they taught me how to sleeve. Right? Huh. Once I learned how to sleeve, that, who were the big boys that you learned, you learned how to sleeve? Can we big, talk about that? We could do yeah. big Cos yeah. and Esno were the first guys I yeah, met. Big up Esno, big up Cos. Come they on. They taught me how to sleeve, and once I started sleeving, game over. Game over. Like we used to absolutely go into art shops, just spinning racks, just <laughs> coming out with. <laughs> thousands and thousands of pounds. Really? Like these pens were like seven pound a pop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would have bags full. Bags full, and then, then it, the black books started coming out, and it, like, all my dubs then were shit. But I was learning, and <coughs> as you went, yeah. Then we got into the, um, then we met well, band and Worms. They started BMS, mm. and they went to school with Pine. Yeah, big up band. Yeah, yeah. And uh, we were still like the little ones from the from from the estate, and fucking, I got put in BMS. Pine was already BMS. Bash was BMS. Pine. But then Band obviously upped his game, next level sort of shit. Warm stopped writing, so now we're left with BMS. Yeah. So it's like, we're still in the crew, we're carrying this shit on. Yeah. You hold the flag. And it's Perhaps still... you hold the flag of It's BMS. still going now. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's yeah. still it's still going on. Like, you've got hints battering it, Sakif battering it. Like, it's... But it's a close-knit family. Do you mm. know what I mean? Like, we've all got each other's phone numbers. We all talk. We go on fucking holidays together mm. and, like, we're close, man. It's, yeah. it's, it's good, man. You been in Penn? Who, me? Yeah. Four, <laughs> five times you got now. got a couple of... Cu yeah, so you got a hotel room? Yeah, I've got... Uh, not <laughs> no more. No, I'll give my key away now. Good, I'm, man. I'm, 
Uh, yeah, I'll give my key away for that. I can't be doing that. I was in jail with Take. Me and Take was in cellmates for fucking eight months. Really? Bombing the yards. Really? Yeah, I remember we got some fucking, um, you know, you get, go education and they got them like felt tips. It's like break the felt tips off, you know, inside they've got yeah. that fucking, yeah. you just crash the bottom of the exercise yard. I wonder if they're still there. Really? But we get called Taken Facts in jail. And the little fat screw, I remember her, she went, I knew it was you fucking too. How are you going to explain that? Do you know what I mean? And there's take throw-ups everywhere in the jail. It was sick. I mean, it was, it was all right. Well, did everyone else think that was in, in, inside? Did they, did they, did they, were, they people, were they into it? No, but people can't, like, people say to me, why do you, why do you do that fucking childish thing? And I'm like, you, you don't understand what it's like to get that, oh, it's... Buzz. It's a buzz. And it lasts for days. Yeah. You don't have to chase it because you're living it. Yeah. Like, it's in you. Yeah, it's, it's part of life, man. It's part of, like, every time I'm on the phone, I'm fucking doodling or... Do you know what I mean? It's, it's everywhere, like... It's... Do, do you think... Do you think... All oh, right, so now here comes a spicy question. All right? <laughs> okay, we're ready for Spice Patrol. Hold on to your blinkers. <laughs> uh, do you think uh, graffiti still holds that same level of respect and criminality? I fucking hope so. Yeah. I fucking hope so, because if it don't, why the fuck are you doing it? Yeah. If you're not getting a buzz out of it, why are you doing it, bro? Are you doing it for dough? All right, well, fair play to you earning a bit of money, but I'm doing it for the... Like, I don't take pictures of my stuff. I've just fucking... The amount of stuff I've done, I've probably got about 30 pictures on my phone from my whole life. This is kind of what I'm saying, because like, you're, you're really afraid of. Like, for you to be sitting here is going to be a surprise, so far as... Is that... He, well, he's... You know what I mean? They're like you, 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 you've had a life in graph. Mm. Do you know what I mean? He's done a lot. Isn't you've done a lot, and then and then you've got your extracurricular. You know, you, you, you know, you, you, you get involved with the football game. You know what I mean? Like you're 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 well you're a well rounded seasoned. I can't I can't I can't be that undercover when a geezer fucking writing my name with two O's on the end of it. The silly cunt. You know what I mean? It like that's what to me with education graffiti education. You should know throw ups go up like. Dubs go over throw-ups, pieces go over chromes. You don't write someone else's fucking tag with two add O's on the end of it. Add two letters and it goes. Do you know what I mean? It's fucking nuts. What's like, that? Well, okay, so... so Bobby, it, it hurts, yeah, when my nan calls me fat. She says to me, how the fuck did you get up there when she sees hang-offs and that? And then a geezer, I'll fair play to the fella, because he's fucking... He's smashed it. But he's still writing my name. Hmm. Do you know what I mean? It's like me writing fucking Enzo Sikifo, just put an O on the end of anything and you're allowed to write it. Is that what it's got to? Mm. Can I say one thing? Go on. You say he smashed it, yeah? Smashed it. He, he, he has smashed up. Well, Bruce. listen, in 2000. Oh, yeah, yeah, fair smash enough. Smashed up Bruce. Sweet. Yeah, he smashed panels like you have. In 2016. In, in 2016, yeah? yeah, I split up with one of my ex misses. And I actually, I was selling packet. I was going out, I was getting home from work, looking up fucking where Fats' stuff was, and I was going out every day with a fucking orange uniform in my backpack, paint, just taking him out. Mm. Taking him out, taking him out, taking him out, and then I stopped writing because I couldn't be fucking... It, it was tiring. Like. Training, yeah. I remember one time I had... The, it was the fucking on top, big time. I was on my ones. I'm sitting indoors, fucking charged, like, this cunt, I'm going to kill him. Was this pre sobriety? Huh? Yeah, pre yeah, pre sobriety, yeah. You didn't want to know me then. Mm -hmm. like, I was a fucking. We'll get back to that in a minute. Carry on, yeah. So now I'm looking on my phone thinking, right, well, I'm going there. So I've got on a fucking train on my ones, went to Gospel Oak, had a blast at the station, climbed up some fences, and that it was late. And I've got up on the top near the train station, and there was an overground park there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when I'm blasting, I, I never used to drink, I used to dry sniff. Yeah, yeah. So I'm getting para. I'm thinking, shall I paint that or not? And I'm thinking, no, nah, man, I'm on my ones. Anything could happen. So I think, how the fuck am I going to get past this train and to this fat stub, fat old dub? And the freight train's pulled past. So I run with the freight train past it's the slow train. slow enough. For the, 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 so now that this train's on here, the fucking... The, the overground's here, the freight's here, I'm running alongside it. 
So I get to the end of it, think, fucking, thank fuck for that. So now I'm looking back at this f train thinking, oh, this is paintable, you know? But I hide on the, you know, the electrical boxes. Yeah. Sitting down, having a fucking blast up. Yeah. Smoking a fag and I hear, I look around the side of the box, the fucking SG has jumped off this fucking train. It's like bombing it towards me, right? What? He's seen the smoke. Yeah. I'm off, I don't know where I am. I get over this track, zigzagging through a park, the geezer straining torches on me. Oh, fuck. I jump in this garden, I chuck all my paint, chuck my phone. I've got one little bit of packet left in my pocket, blast it. I think, oh my days, I've got to sit here for a little while. I don't know where the fuck I am. Next thing I know, a fucking chopper comes. What? The chopper's zoomed in on the tracks. You see the heat sensor just up and down the tracks. And I was like, oh my days, I'm, I'm getting, fuck, I'm I'm getting fuck, fucking fuck, nicked. Fuck, yeah. But they didn't, they didn't search the park. They only searched the lines thinking I was still on there. Oh Got a bus all the way God. home. And that's when I thought, this is getting a bit long now. This don't, knock, don't knock that camera. Do you know what I mean? It, is it straight? Is it all right? Yeah? Fantastic. Okay, just checking. Nice. The movement. Yeah, it was... Yeah, it's... What? Fun times, man. That is fucking harrowing. Mm. Oh, I don't know how you... I don't know how you process things like that. I remember when Montana's first come into London, bruv. Like, when we used to go to a surge shop in uh, Carl Shorten. <laughs> like... Do you know what I mean? And the, the graffitism magazines first come out, and that. it was big up Julia. People don't people sleep on those graph well, magazines. Cole Shorten, graphitism. You remember Cole Shorten? Well, I Shorten? He used to buy meat knees yeah, in it. the shop, and I uh, did graphitism magazines. Yo, knees, know. man. There's another Cole deep end. Knee your way, Crawley. Yeah, Crawley. Yeah, yeah. It's a Cole yeah. Shorten. Yeah, yeah, boy. Yeah. And then they opened that shop in Clapham Junction, yeah. and it, that's when it evolved. Really. Yeah, yeah. It was the first one of the first graph. I mean, of course, there was all city. You know what I mean? An HQ after, yeah, but... Weren't HQ the roof? Oh, HQ I was Peckham. I mean, Brixton, I don't know. So you, so you used to rob everyone there. Who is it? Who? So. It's her, yeah, yeah. Mm. Um, talk to me about this period you speak of when you were, like, high and you were aggressive and you were, like, pent up. Not necessarily with fat so, but... You know this this period where you were just like, you got your you got to the top of the mountain and you just had to sort yourself out. It was like, bro, this is like this is where I big up my ex man because if it wasn't for her, I wouldn't have been in recovery. So there's bare ratings for that girl for doing that for me. Um, yeah, but life's good now. Yeah, I, I enjoy my life, and then once I come back. It took me a little while to start going football. It took me a little while to start painting because it's it's. It's about that sort of stuff, do you know what I mean? And uh, yeah. I get more of a buzz from it now because this is the first time I've done it sober. Yeah. And the buzz from it is fucking, it's immense. Yeah. It's diff different gravy, mate. Yeah. Different Three and a half gravy. years is a, is a long time to kind of recover. I was in active addiction for, well, I started smoking ash, started selling weed, started selling packets. For the first two years, it was all right. Yeah. But then it got messy. And it, it got bad, man. Like, oh, it, it ruined my life, man. I, like, I didn't see my kids. I just didn't really... like My kids were non-existent to me, man. I was just like... I was living for packet. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Borrowing money off everyone, fucking stamping all over it. And, do you know what I mean? It, it got bad. Mm. It got bad. And one day I just... Someone offered me a place in a, in a rehab and I was like, you know what? I've got to go. I've got to go. And... You only meant to do fucking three months there. I stayed there for nine because I was too scared to come back. Really? Because I didn't want it no more. No. Like, the relationship I got with my family now, like my mum, my fucking daughters, my nan, it's, it's different level, mm -hmm. different level. Mm. That you wouldn't like, trade for nothing or whatever? No. That's amazing, bruv. Hey, there's a friend that knew him when he was doing like that. There's a friend that knew him, yeah? The man he is now today. Yeah. The man he is totally now. Totally fucking different. Different, yeah. Totally. That's different. and no one you can't ask more for that, bruv. You wouldn't realise that was him. Well, you wouldn't realise it was him. No, I man. I was, was, I was a mess. I, I was met a mess. I when he was in them situations, yeah. Yeah. And I thought, bro, he's a good person. Yeah, he's a good person. And do you know what? 
bad I've situations. Seen him to me. Yeah. And he's all and right. He's like to yeah. me, what the fuck are you doing? Oh, yeah, okay. That okay, for, yeah. 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 And do you know what? Brilliant person, role model, yeah. icon. Yeah. So, sometimes, sometimes what is facts, and I, and I think this is why you he's get, a good boy, isn't he? yeah, that's why you get your flowers now, bro. Yeah, because he's fucking, he's a good boy. Yeah, and sometimes, sometimes, like, you can be a role model in one aspect of people's lives, but when you're able to turn that corner and be more than not only what you would have ever expected, but achieving greater, well, that's a that's a that's a proud moment yeah, for everybody. Proud, right? and, and yeah. then... It's and amazing. Then not only that, helping himself, helping fucking others. Others, yeah, helping well other people. To be what mm. was there. Can I ask you something? Do, do, do you have any regrets? That I stopped painting in 2000. <laughs> 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 them, them, them eras were the ones. Mm. Like, I was too wrapped up in dough. You're the woman, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the the two thousands, the two thousand and tens, I didn't. That's when it. Like I look back at it now, and they were the days that it was happening. Really, like, and I went in it. Do you think it would have steered you in a better kind of more creative path? Possibly. Yeah. So I, probably, I, I would have probably got nicked for it. Would put you? it that way. Yeah. Yeah, but you, you were on it anyway. But you were on something else at the time as well. Yeah. So the thing that you were on at the time, how deep did that get? Deep. Really. Yeah, I was. I got banged up for selling heroin when I was 17. Come out of jail. Started selling packet again. Got nicked about nine months after that. Went straight back to jail. Wow. Then loads of bits of jail for violence. It just, it, it just got messy, man. I was like, if you knew me in the madness, I was, I was a skinny little rat. Really? Just... But, my, but my name was Fats, like... Someone said to me before, you look like you should be fat, but you're not. And it was... Yeah, man. Yeah. I remember when fucking... You know, that film Snatch, <laughs> when yeah. that come out, I'm on the beginning of that. When, oh, yeah. when, when Fat Tyrone's there, if you see it, he well, runs he past, he gets out of the car and he's getting chased. Mm -hmm. They're just fats, 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 fats. And boom, 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 that's boom, my boom. little claim to fame. Mm -hmm. well, I've seen it. Red, red it's amazing. You yeah. <laughs> <laughs> killed it. So yeah. when I can ram, man's in fucking yeah. snatch. You know what I mean? Is it lock, stop, one of the two? It's lock, stop. Graph yeah. can sometimes be the safe space for a lot of... Um, and this goes back to kind of the question of, like, it, the legality of it in 2024 compared to late noughties, uh, early noughties, uh, late nineties, is perhaps that, perhaps that would have steered you right. I don't know. Money talks, doesn't it? It does talk, doesn't it? Money talks. Yeah. Money talks, man. Right. But Graf's always been a part of my... I've always had a fucking a stain or I'm always doing outlines or something. I just weren't active. Do you know what I mean? I weren't out every day looking at spots. Mm. I weren't out racking. Talk to me about Platform 4. Platform 4? Yeah. London Listen, Bridge. if you're from South London mm. and you writ from 99... To the two thousands and that you know about platform four and the stairwell. Like, <laughs> it was. I know nothing. Tell the story. You, you go there if you wanted to meet a writer mm. from South. You stay at platform four like you're benching a fucking train, and you are bumping into someone. And then you all just like it's like a bunch of fucking wasps just all swarming, and you all just get bigger and bigger and bigger wow. and bigger, and then they fucking bail you, and you're just. Running in, walking in shops and just walking out. They can't do nothing. Wow. 7 Eleven. Do you remember that? Brew raising times. Right. Sleeving. Sleeving. Brew raising. Like, we'll go brew yeah. raising and then we'll go fucking paint, uh, paint raising. Yeah. And then I'd nick all tracksuits and go back to my mum and say, Look, this crackhead's selling these over the road, so she'd pay me. <laughs> then I'm allowed. crackhead story. Then, right? I'm allowed, then I'm allowed to wear the fucking tracksuit around the house because she thinks I bought it, yeah, but yeah, I've yeah. just stolen it from somewhere. <laughs> and then they she You've got to be in at nine. And I'll be like, All right. And then I'll go, Alki's, got a, Alki's mum's got to ring my mum. And then the next one, I'm doing London Bridge. Like, one of the biggest railways in fucking London. Is this going to be a revelation to your mum right now to, to hear these stories? My mum, I, I, my mum see my artwork on a, on a train running through London Bridge the other day and she, she messaged me. She said, I'll just see your train. It really made me smile. 
Yeah, well, like, that's, so like, that's dope. Oh, that's the one. That's it really made me smile. It's good though, isn't it? Oh, it's what? Fucking... <laughs> what my mum's saying? What? I see your fucking... She says, I see your artwork today. That's what I she says. Your I see your artwork. artwork. It oh, made me smile. Artwork, Big up, Mumsy. It wow. ain't, ain't fucking artwork. It's <laughs> vandalism. <laughs> it's art. Mum, I thought we talked about this. <laughs> it's art. Listen, listen. Bless I, her. Listen, I, I, I am not an artist. I'm a fucking vandal. Good. No, you are very. I'll say you're more of an artist, personally. Yeah, I think you're an artist. Cutbacks, it's not, mate. Cutbacks, yeah, 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 I've learned how to I do cutbacks. You're more of an artist, bro. You ain't a pro man. You're a pro man, Kiza. You're a colour Kiza. Listen, be at peace with your creativity, you're, brother. No, <laughs> be at peace with your I'll become an artist anyway. I'll become an artist, if that's how you want to call it. I'm in Come on, let's crack yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So right, listen, right. listen. Sorry, sorry. sorry. Don't sorry. Don't Come on. That shit out. He knows. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I love. I, you know, and I think it is. <laughs> you're, you're a family man. Whether it's crew, whether it's your mom, mm. whether and and what what is blessed about it is that your sobriety has allowed that to happen. Mm. Right. The, the the sobriety has cleared your head, which is really hundred percent important, isn't it? Hundred percent. These lot of fucking dickheads. Yeah. Right. Oh, you <laughs> when, 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 when you not come and do one, yeah? Watch how I go on. I just don't want. Hey, boy. I don't want. He said, he said, before he's going to edit this shit. Facts, facts. Well, what's man. the point of doing it if he's going to edit it all? No. Batty boy. You know what it is? You're a batty boy. This is this. Do you know? <laughs> on a real, on a real. <laughs> do you know? Do you know how much how much this is going to get in views because of the vibe? Because it's real. It's we are real. Banter. We're real. Banter. It's real. It's real. Right. And this lot, this lot, they don't want anything less than the realest shit. So the future is bright. What are we expect? <laughs> so what? Come out, right. <laughs> oh, mate, you're, you're mugging it now. Right. So, right. So the fu- future's bright. So what's next? What's next? Well, for I lose some of this fucking weight, oh, yeah, then. Because I'm, I'm a little bit big to be doing what I'm doing at the minute. It's fucking. It's hard work. Um, but once the weight comes off, which you can see, the fucking water. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit on tops coming, I think. Really? Yeah, I'm, I'm itching for All it. city business. Just down. BMS <laughs> business. Come on, BMS yeah. business. That's what I'm talking about. 100%. Same. 2024 and so, couple, beyond. A couple of things are getting ironed out. <sighs> really? Yeah, really? Yeah. Some, some scores to settle. A little bit. Wow, this ain't going to be the fucking first. This ain't going to be the last podcast. No. I can feel another one. This ain't going to be the last podcast we hear from you. 100. You happy in your life? 100%. I'm at peace, man. Fucking. I'm, I love my life, man. Love your enemies? <laughs> yeah, I, do you know what I'll do? Because he's given me the drive to come back. And all I mean? scores and are settled. Lying in the sand. For anything that pre can. What do you mean? Well, I just mean that you're happy. I'm fucking You mad can at let peace. it go. I'm at peace, yeah, but I'm still going to catch up with him. Like, we've still got to talk. <laughs> okay. We've still got to talk. I don't know about all this graph beef when, like, what do you do when you catch someone? And you're like, what do you do? Smud each other and go, yeah, thanks for taking out 20 of my dubs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Are yeah, you yeah. mad? Yeah, right. Just... hey, 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 about taking out dubs. It's about taking the name. Just know what it's about doing the fucking most and, like, getting shit done. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> so... If you can't beat them, join them. That's what we're saying. Mm-hmm. Keep it moving. 2024, right. everything to play for. No, nothing to complain about and everything to look forward to. That's 100%. My brother. Bless up for fucking, getting me here, man. Fats of the fucking building. Huh? Yeah, man. That's 439. Come on, what more do you need to know? Uh, we're keeping it heritage in here. Legacy holding in the building. Killer Keller podcast. Remember, crime don't pay, but neither do they, all right? <laughs> you stay lucky. Don't talk to it and I wouldn't, all right? And be safe out there. Fats, you're a don. Bless be up. lucky. Use it. <laughs>